So these, today's day one of my meal plan. Uh, I started on a meal plan with a personal trainer. Uh, I think I talked about work working out with him last week and today, Monday, January 6th, the first day of the meal. Uh, it's weird because I have to prepare a lot of my own food. Uh, I'm the person that eats out a lot. I mean, pretty much every meal. Uh, I think it's, I mean, it's because I'm lazy. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. And, uh, and I got in the habit of just going out and having food made for me. Um, in my mind, I always, you know, thought it sp- uh, saved me time not having to clean up and not having to cook and prepare and buy things. And it probably did save me a little time. But also with one of those things about eating out is that you don't really have them. You have too many choices. And when, when you go find a place like, yeah, man, there's portions and the stuff they put in it, you have no control over it. So, uh, well, I'll just run down. How about a run down what I'm supposed to eat every day? Uh, in the morning, I'm supposed to have like a cup of oatmeal and an apple and two eggs. And I can have like a, a little bit of honey in the oatmeal. I haven't eaten my eggs today. So I've, I've made a list. And of, this is like every day. It's the exact same thing for the next two weeks. And uh, like, here you go. And then, and then I've just basically been crossing off today the stuff that I've eaten already. So that's for breakfast. I have a snack of a shake which is like half a banana, three strawberries, half a cup, mo- cup of oatmeal, the scoop of protein powder, and almond milk. And I put that together and drink that. I didn't have a blender today, so I had to. So I just ate it as a, like a gruel slash cereal. Uh, and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. And then my lunch was a, sand- a turkey sandwich with a little bit of mayonnaise, chips, and an apple. And dude, I ate that for breakfast because by the time I got back to the store, I was hungry and I didn't want to have to cook. So, like, I it, I told, like, the turkey sandwich is probably going to be, like, I'm going to, <laughs> every day I'm going to look forward to the turkey sandwich. It's like, oh, my God. Because, like, I ate that turkey sandwich today. It was, like, the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. Because I was so hungry. I didn't want to, like, wait to make food. And I was just like, turkey sandwich, turkey sandwich. Mm. And then, like, I'm supposed to eat the mayonnaise. I, was, I told my, like, you know, personal trainer, I was like, hey, you know, what if I don't want the mayonnaise? Is it better if I don't eat the mayonnaise? Then I can, you know, reach my goal faster or something like that. He's like, no, dude, I want you to eat the mayonnaise. It's it's fat. You need fat. You just got to, like, watch. You, you If you don't have any fat, you're going to be hungry. And I'm like, oh, God. So, like, there's, like, olive oil on here that I'm supposed to eat. And he's like, either you can put it on your chicken when you cook. Or you could just put it on it afterwards and then eat the chicken with the olive oil. <laughs> it's so funny. It, I find this meal plan eating like this. It, it's probably one of the good things about my personality because there's a lot of bad things about my personality. But one of the things is I find humor in like these like kind of weird situations. Because I remember like there was one time where my uh, I got a flat tire. I took it in. They flix, fi- they fixed the tire, and then in doing so, they accidentally didn't uh, didn't install one of the nozzles on correctly, so it started leaking air. And I like literally like the same day I got it fixed, I left and I got a flat tire again <laughs> because all the air went out. And I took it back to them. And my, my, I remember like me calling my mom and telling her that I was on the side of the road, and I was laughing about it. And she was like, "David, I mean, I'm glad you have this kind of sense of humor because most people would be very pissed off that they got a." flat tire again and i was just like i mean what are the chances man like i have to find it pretty comical so yeah so now like uh, yeah so i've got chicken and olive oil and and a cup of rice and a cup of broccoli and tangerines i've got to eat that twice a day which i have no clue dude i have no clue how i'm gonna eat that i just even the just the prep and like the simple simplicity of it i don't know we'll see we'll figure it out i've got it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I still got to eat two eggs, an apple, two two things of tangerines, a cup of broccoli, a, a cup of rice, a couple squirts of olive oil, and three ounces of white meat chicken. I'm pretty hungry already. And, I mean, we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. I guess I'm going to go eat some eggs now. Eggs? Should I go eat eggs now? I don't know, dude. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, my dad was kind of like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing this? And 
my mom was like, uh, I'll help you cook sometimes if I can, but I can't, you can't rely on me. I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. But the thing about it is, it's like, uh, you know, I always wanted to get in a, I, I think I talked about this already, so I don't need to talk about it. Yeah. If you want to go talk, if you want to hear what I talked about, just go listen to the other video. I made some other video the other day, but we'll, we'll see what happens after I eat this for two weeks and then oh shit, dude, it's not even going to be two weeks. I'm going to be out of town like in a week. Uh, this is going to pain in the ass. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>